Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger. And we have some very big news for you here. Now, it is more than likely news you expected to hear, but it is still big news nevertheless, in that EVO 2020 is indeed cancelled. The official EVO Twitter has put out this message. Due to COVID-19, we are sadly cancelling EVO 2020 at Mandalay Bay and refunding all purchased tickets. But to keep the EVO spirit alive, we're bringing the event online this summer. More information coming soon. The health and well-being of our community is our highest priority. We hope everyone stays safe during this time, the EVO team. Also, thankfully, if you already have your hotel room reserved, then that's refunded automatically. No need to worry about that. This isn't particularly shocking news that EVO is being cancelled, sadly. A lot of us saw this coming. Uh, but it is where we stand. The EVO is the biggest, and by a fair bit, fighting game tournament in the world. And this year, we're not going to have it. EVO also has uh, very much morphed into a marketing event. Uh, so I'm sure there was a lot of reveals planned. You know, a lot of fighting games going to make a debut in some form in a trailer. A lot of DLCs or new characters for older games showing up. And that's just not going to happen now. Now, that's up to the publishers and developers themselves who put it out on their own, and I'm sure they will for most of what was going to happen. Like, I very much expected uh, whatever the League of Legends fighting game was going to be. I expected that to make some sort of grand debut at EVO this year. And now, hey, who knows? We had the uh, sneak peek last year, but I was expecting like a full-on proper trailer, and I guess we'll just see where it goes on the marketing end of things. But now, let's talk about the online aspect of the tournament now that they want to do that. I think it is absolutely fantastic that they're trying to keep the evil spirit alive and keeping the event going in some form with an online portion. However, that the games we have picked for EVO 2020. Of this list that we have here that are the official games of EVO 2020, only two of the nine games have rollback netcode. And in particular, Samurai Showdown and Smash Ultimate have really bad netcode, like even bad even by delay standards, right? Uh, for the Marvel 2 tournament, it's an invitational, at least it was, who knows how it's going to wind up being. Uh, so we only have Street Fighter V as um, a playable, really, online game in a tournament setting. And I know people will complain one way or the other about Street Fighter V rollback, but whatever, right? At least it is rollback. For something like Smash Ultimate or Sam Show, their onlines are extra bad, and running a large tournament with their netcodes is going to be very unfortunate. Now, thankfully, in the future, we do have a lot of rollback coming our way. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive is going to be a rollback-enabled game for netcode. The League of Legends Fighter, whenever that's coming out, that's also obviously going to have rollback in it. Uh, the way uh, SNK is handling a lot of their old ports now, they're adding rollback to them, so I'm assuming King of Fighters 15 will have rollback. But that's in the future, and that isn't now. I don't know if we're ready for our online tournament future. But that all said, I guess it is what it is, and we're working with the bad hand we have been dealt. And I sincerely wish all the best for EVO, and I hope the online tournament works out in a good way that can leave people satisfied. So, just like professional sports, it looks like esports might be taking the year off this year. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed, but at this point, all we can hope for is a better future, and EVO and every other fighting game tournament absolutely that has been cancelled due to the issues going on right now. I can only hope they come back bigger, better, stronger next year, and we as the FGC, as a community, can pull together for them. That all said, just reporting the news as it stands, so yeah, indeed, EVO 2020 will not be a concern this year, and we'll have to wait and see on the news about what the online portion will be. And with all that said, I guess that's the end of this video, so hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and hey, go out and play some fighting games. And when the time comes that local tournaments and big tournaments come up again, hey, support your local tournaments and the big tournaments when you can.